Hello everyone, this is Umut. Today we are going to have a look at the pentatonic scale. We will learn what the pentatonic scale is, play them all across the fretboard, and learn how to use them in a chord progression. Before we jump into a pentatonic lesson, I want to share with you that my online essential bass guitar course is available now. You can have a 90% off with the link in the description below. So if you're a beginner or you want to go over the basics, make sure you check that out too. Pentatonic scale is a very easy scale to play. You can go really fast with it and it sounds good all the time. Penta meaning 5, the pentatonic scale has 5 notes. There are two types of pentatonic scales, major and minor pentatonic. So let's have a look at the major pentatonic first. If I play the C major scale, And if I leave out the 4th and the 7th, the F and the B, these two notes, I am left with the major pentatonic scale. Also notice that in diatonic scale, I am leaving out the notes that has half steps in the scale. From B to C and from E to F, there are half steps. So I am leaving out F and the B. It also means that pentatonic scale doesn't have any half steps in it. That's one of the main reasons pentatonic scale always sounds good. Practice our major pentatonic shape starting with your middle finger, your pinky, index, pinky, index, pinky. And also with your index and pinky only. Now this was the main major pentatonic shape. Another common shape we use is Practice this using your index finger on the 3rd fret, middle finger on the 5th, pinky on the 7th, index, pinky, index, pinky. Now the relative minor of the C major scale is A minor. If I play the same notes Starting with A, A, leaving out B, C, D, E, leaving out F, G, and A again. I am left with the minor pentatonic scale. In pentatonic minor, I am leaving out the second, the B, and the sixth F. This is the main shape and the only shape we are going to use. We can also extend it to the all the way to the high D, C and D. Now, if you want to unlock your keyboard using the pentatonic scale, there are five main positions. First is the major scale, the major pentatonic. Second is starting with D, playing the same notes. Third is starting with E, starting with G, starting with A, and C again. One important thing is these are not the modes of C major pentatonic scale. We are just starting with different notes each time. So always be aware where the root node is, which is C. For example, if you are playing the second shape, C is there on the fifth fret. Third shape, C is there. In the fourth shape, C is here. C is there. Always be aware of it. Point of practicing those shapes is gaining the ability of playing the pentatonic scale, no matter where you are on the neck or making a big jump. For example, Same shapes also apply the minor pentatonic too. The fifth position on the C major pentatonic is minor pentatonic scale. Playing those same shapes starting from the A on the fifth fret gives you the same result. And I can also extend it. And A again. 
Now I have a backing track to practice. It uses simple 2-5-6-1 progression on G major, the 2 chord A, the 5 chord, D major, dominant 7, the 6 chord, E minor, and the 1 chord, G major. Let's have a listen first. As pentatonics, what we are going to play is, for the 2 chord, the A, we will play the A minor pentatonic. For the 5 chord, we will play the D major pentatonic. For the 6 chord, we are going to play E minor pentatonic. And G major. G major pentatonic. Now let's play them ascending and descending without any improvisation with the backing track. Now let's improvise with those pentatonic shapes to create more melodic lines. As a final step, we will combine those pentatonic shapes with the bass lines with chord tones. We will use pentatonic shapes for fills. As a conclusion, pentatonics are great tools to use and we can use them in any genre of music. But if you only play pentatonics in your music, your music can become really predictable and too nice sounding. So try to listen to the music you're playing and use them wherever the music needs it. That's it for this video. I'm also adding the 251 backing track I used on my Patreon page for practice, so you can check that out as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.